we back! Save this for the finale. <laughs> <laughs> this is the finale video, everybody. This is the Kyrie Irvins, the B.O.B.s. <laughs> who wanna, <laughs> wanna make a satellite or build a spaceship or some shit and go into space and Terrible. see if it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these guys off this ocean <laughs> that <laughs> <it> falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, this is not the Jubilee video, bro. This is Flat Earthers versus Scientists. Can we trust science? No, we cannot trust science, but I am definitely not going to believe the Flat Earthers. <laughs> I'm just going to make that clear right now. <laughs> Malcolm, just imagine. You're on a cruise ship. You went to go to this cruise your whole life. <laughs> you get to the edge of the Earth. Edge of the Earth. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to fall off of it. <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's see. Is flat Earth, is flat earthers just a term like talk about people that go against like regular science or like do they really really believe that the Earth? They is flat? really believe the Earth <laughs> is flat. Okay, I was wondering. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. So like they their whole logic is. I thought they were just the like government uh, is lying. Trying to like fight. Just modern day science, or for cases now, what they, they call flat earthers. They fighting. I guess they fighting science. They like. They, they feel like everything they is. A yeah. Because <laughs> like everything is basically there, given, but like they feel that, like, everything's a fucking illusion and there's no truth to um, all the stuff that's been provided to kind of prove that if you ever get a chance on Netflix it's a show I'm pretty sure you probably saw it already though it's called Explain yeah yeah I and watched Explain, a couple episodes yeah, okay yeah it's a good show it yeah. explains a, well that's the name of part of the show but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a good it's a good ass show just explaining like all different types of shit whatever the case is like pretty much everything down to a T to a science or whatever but uh, let's see man are you with Mark you with the earth the flat earthers or are you with the scientists I'm gonna say I'm a scientist. Science. I'm a man of science. You're a man of science. <laughs> I'm a man of science. I like proof and uh, so like figures alchemy. and alchemy. Others. So Edward yeah. Elric is your friend. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying Edward, to bring nobody back. Edward Alphonse is your friend. <laughs> I ain't trying to bring nobody back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's we'll see fuck it, shit up. <laughs> Starting at three, two, one. That's hey guys, welcome up. back to Middle Ground. Before we jump in, we've oh, got a huge ground. announcement. This might be the real first fight. I've been asking for this for years. <laughs> we're finally giving you the first ever Jubilee podcast called Radical. You might get a Entertain. fight. That's right. Uh, we're really think? proud and excited to share it with you guys. It actually right. features an interview with the somebody Democrats in this episode. They was, they so they was kind of barking. barking. They was kind of barking. barking. For but these scientists and these letters just... Think I know for a fact it's a globe. <laughs> yeah, it's, a globe. it's like we have oh, this uh, picture of reality that's a big puzzle piece, and then one of those pieces w w just wasn't fitting. I'm always open to mm -hmm. having a discussion with someone who is holding a wrong belief like this. Are you willing to change your mind? I'm not. The evidence is so much. Nobody wants to be a flat earther, but if you showed me incontrovertible evidence, I would definitely go back. Who wants the ridicule? Where do you want to be different from the discussion with the other side? I'd like to tear them to pieces. <laughs> I want to hear these facts now. Wait. <laughs> I, I, like I like statistics. I like statistics, facts, and everything. So let's get it. I'm Jim Underdown, Executive Director of the Center for Inquiry West in Los Angeles and the chair of the CFI Investigations Group. 
I'm Spencer Marks, one of the senior members of the CFI Investigations Group, Science Advocate. I am Madi Nayiri, I'm a theoretical physicist, and I'm with the University of uh, Irvine. I am Wendell Walton, I am a chief learning officer for a young startup. I'm Shelley Lewis, I'm a graduate of West Point, critical thinker, and jumped out of airplanes. My name is Dan Glattman. I work as Dan the Waterman in the drinking water filtration industry and I'm a truth seeker. Wait. No, Paul's all right? Yeah. All right. Wait, she says she jumped out of a plane. No, no. no. She's not right. earlier. No, go, go, go ahead and play. It no, didn't no. say how high it was, Mother. Did. She didn't say the altitude. Go, go, <laughs> go ahead and play. She didn't say the altitude, Mother. Go ahead and play. <laughs> when she was up there doing like this, it looked flat. <laughs> She didn't say the altitude, bro. Go ahead, play. She didn't, she didn't see the curve when she jumped, so it's, it's flat. It's okay, bro. It's okay. I promise it's okay. Uh, I'm starting to think you were. <laughs> she didn't see the curve. Bible is a flat earth book. You have to take it literally. Like for example. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yes. The Bible is flat. <laughs> it's a book. It's a book. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I digress. You know what? It's, they, they make it too easy. <laughs> Something will let slide. See? I'll let it slide. It's, 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 uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. Through 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 <laughs> when it talks about how the earth, the earth is takes like shape a clay, like clay wax, on this wax seal that's stamped with upturned edges. That's just not some fancy story. That's a simile. It is like. Right, absolutely. Right? And in Isaiah, it talks about you kill your brothers, ask Cain. Uh, he who sits upon the circle of the earth. <laughs> There's a difference between a circle and a ball. Well, exactly. Yeah. If you look at the original uh, Hebrew, it means disc. There's two, over 200 scriptures in the Bible that point to a flat earth. Oh, here we go. So this notion that you need God or some higher power to create the earth or the universe is very old um, and was initially posited by people of a pre-scientific age. Since then, we have learned quite a bit about uh, the universe coming into existence, when that happened. Modern humans don't get their cosmology they don't get their physics, they don't get their knowledge of the universe from the Bible or any ancient text. It's sort of like the God of the gaps. Once, you know, people used to believe that lightning was God's wrath and throwing these lightning bolts, but once we understood it was a natural process, God shrank a little bit more because now we couldn't attribute those lightning bolts to God. We had to attribute that to the real science. Um, but the other thing, the point about the Bible specifically for me is why is that one particular text the correct one? You choose to believe that, and that's fine, but there's so many other writings and so many other books, so why weren't they correct? Why is just the, the Bible correct? Well, what you'll find in a lot of these ancient religions is they're all flat earth religions. All their cosmology goes That'll back to right. being <laughs> flat earth with an enclosed system. So it's not just the Bible that teaches this. It's many different religious books. So one problem I have is <laughs> to, uh, trying to explain phenomena happen in nature uh, by holy books. Those are religious books. Those are not books of science. And it is wrong to infer or deduct uh, scientific um, readings out of those books. Oh, I didn't know they was flying the globe in whatever BC. <laughs> <laughs> so of course the earth is flat in old texts or old testaments or whatever the fuck the case is. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> and you have to think. You have to think also too with Let me all these. Tell old... me the man in BC who <laughs> walked the entire globe. Jesus, <laughs> it's like Jesus walked across the ladder. <laughs> Jesus walked on water. I say it was shallow. <laughs> Your ass, stupid. <laughs> all, I'm saying, um, all I'm saying is she talking because she just said like all the old scriptures, well, for the case is, say it's all flat Earth. Yeah, of course. But you have to think. How the fuck 
what they discovered that it ain't. <laughs> Here's the thing too, you have to like that you have to keep in mind too. With some of these old like text religions and stuff, um the, certain words didn't exist like like description wise. Yeah. So <laughs> Uh, of course, like if if someone says one thing, like if like somebody's trying to describe a phone in in the Bible, to, I ain't right? I trying to disrespect nobody, but my OG used to say, "When it's raining, God is crying." <laughs> and I kind of feel like the Bible is just for little kids to make them feel better. <laughs> when they say, "Like God is throwing down lightning bolts lightning and bolts. shit like that." Like that's kind of like that's kind of like childish shit. Cause that's what my OG used to tell me. Like yeah, that's when it's what, raining outside, God is crying. That's what like that's, shit like that. Yeah, that's what that's what he was saying about like the whole thunderbolts and stuff. Cause like before, when we couldn't explain shit, that's why I'm saying like there were there was no words to explain certain shit. So people turned to like oh the 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 short answer for that. Like he was saying the short answer is. It was God, like it was God doing. But as we progressed as human beings, we then we we learn <laughs> we learn certain things. We adapt to new words or whatever or what have you. And like it's like all right, we can physically, scientifically break this shit down. We can explain. We can make it, lightning in a bottle. Right. It's like <laughs> <laughs> like we we know where lightning comes from. We know. How rain, rain clouds, clouds are made and all this other shit. So, like, everything can be broken down to a T. So, like, yeah, it's just like, I mean, even if... The scriptures if, are false. Right, if you use those, but... That can't explain everything, though. What blows my mind is, like, these are the same... It's like, it's the same people that want to use the Bible to, like, kind of, like, justify, like, this isn't the Bible. This isn't the Bible episode, Malcolm. This is, no, 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 this is no. Flat Earth is. <laughs> no, I know that. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. This like, isn't that episode yet. <laughs> God, I can see the comments coming. No, I'm, I'm just saying. As far as like timeline, like they, they using it, like people use it for whatever that benefits them. But like, yeah. if we were to say, okay. They mention this person in history or whatever, but there is no like evidence supporting that this person and this person and this person exists in the Bible. But the person that they mention, like a pharaoh or something, yeah. that person exists, yeah. and they got a whole tomb. <laughs> so like they're, they're yeah. like it, it, it's just little it's just I don't know it's just little little stuff like that like like people choose and pick. What they want to like, kind of. Malcolm, like remember, use. always remember, a circle is not a spear. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> it's flat. Oh shit! That's gonna be my line from now on. A circle. A circle is, is not a spear. Not a spear. <laughs> it's like, how do you create a spear, then, sir? You look around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to get it through too hard. My name is Wendell. I am a logical, uh, biblically based, uh, and scientific flat earther. I didn't start out, and no one starts out as a flat earther, but I had a lot of questions. So I actually got to the point where I had to go out and, and put my own eyeballs on it. So we went out uh, to an observation at Salt and Sea, and things just didn't <laughs> add up down there. So we've gone back uh, probably a dozen times, and I can guarantee you that there is no curvature over distance. Why would it only be that little piece of water, though? That's the problem. You need a sound, boy. It's this goddamn internet. What <laughs> man said. Oh man! Well, that's the problem. <laughs> well, that's the problem. He, he, he said that so. I wonder if they even heard his ass because he said it clear as shit. 
Oh man. Oh, that's funny. That's listen. That nigga said, "Well, that's, that's the, the problem." problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to keep it through two one. Advantage of information to the outside of uh, channels two, four, and seven, and the, the few networks that are corporately owned. It's pretty easy to say YouTube isn't research. But when you spend enough time, you're picking up quite a bit. And with the discussion groups, panels, we've uh, gone against opposition. We've opposed ourselves. Uh, surprisingly enough, Flat Earth is its own worst enemy. So it's not that easy for us to come to consensus. And we find the consensus is orchestrated and not actually scientific in any way. You know, my grandfather used to tell me growing up, never believe anything you read in the newspaper, right? He told that to me. Now, with the age of the internet, it's like, you know, how much of this misinformation are you getting there? And when you have, like, All eyewitnesses them, yeah. taking video of something, you do have to uh, take everything with a grain of salt. That's why, because yeah, of my, um, my multimedia background, I knew that all that stuff could be faked. You know, take it into Photoshop, take it into After Effects. <laughs> oh, them huffing and puffing and deep breathing and shit okay, walking up? This That's is at the head. core of the issue of why there are so many flat earth believers out there right now. The problem is the information from someone who decides to start a website or produce a YouTube video is not reliable. When I have a toothache, I go to a dentist. When my car breaks down, I go to a mechanic. When you have questions about cosmology, you should go to an astrophysicist, you should go to a physicist, you should go to people who have spent years and years studying these ideas. Not some six minute YouTube video. There is a percentage of people that if they saw a YouTube <clears throat> video that was not within their scientific chops to refute on the face of it, would believe anything out there. One of the things I will say is NASA.gov has their own documents out there that we get to vet, which is through the Freedom of Information Act. And would you agree that NASA documents, if they're on display, that we should be able to go and research inside there? NASA is not proving that the Earth is flat. Well, they say well, in 14 should, of the documents. You should read what NASA says, and so you should listen to what I NASA says. I would love to see your NASA all, evidence all, that the Earth is It's flat. only their contradictory issues okay, that bring see. us here. We're all familiar with the Earth rise <laughs> photo, right? The Earth is rising over the moon. We're all familiar with it. That's a NASA. You can go out to NASA site. You can download the original, right? I already know what you're going to ask. So you bring up the luminance on it, and you can see where it's cut out and pasted there. They're showing us doctored images that are clearly doctored. The blue marble is a very famous image from 1972. When you uh, talk to the artist from NASA, his name is Robert Simmons, he talks about exactly how it was created from data, and it's not a photograph whatsoever. He added so what? clouds. Let me, let me explain. He added a highlight of the if sun. If you take, you know, on your phone, most phones have that panoramic image. When you do that, you're taking a series of pictures, and the phone cleverly stitches I'm that just together. how it's Hold presented. On. It's Hold presented on. as a real photo. So when NASA takes real photos and they either clean them up for color or they stitch them together so it's one large image, it doesn't mean they're CGI. You're talking about composites. <laughs> <laughs> they lost me at Blue Marvel. I, I saw I was reading at the bottom and shit like that. Whatever uh, Simmons or whatever the fuck his name was that said whatever the fuck he said about uh, putting the clouds whatever to make it look more like Earth whatever the fuck the case is I lost them niggas the fuck out. <laughs> um, I haven't seen any of these images so I don't know shit. You haven't seen none of that. Nah, not from our Earth is uh, Earth is finna fucking implode. Why do I care? Why are we so focused on Earth? We looking for a whole new planet to fucking go to right go now. Go and have it. <laughs> so. I don't know why we're arguing about Earth at, right now. At that, same, <laughs> at that same notion, then, with if that's what I want to know from like these flat Earth people. Like, do you believe the rest of the like our galaxy, like every other planet, is flat? Then, like that's 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 what I want to know. Or is it just Earth that you just believe that's flat? Because if you're saying that you can't trust these pictures from the Earth, like the Earth pictures, then what about Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, like? Like Saturn, what what about all of those pictures that what we does got? The, how does the ring go around Jupiter? Yeah, I mean, Saturn. Which one get a ring? Uh, Saturn. Saturn. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever planet got a motherfucking ring around it, how? 
<laughs> like, yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, if it doesn't, like, I don't know. My, the way my thought process is, like, that's it, Saturn. It, it can't be just, like, Thank you, you think. Thank you, Chance Rapper. <laughs> 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 it can't be that you, you just think that Earth is, like, because the you believe the photos and everything and just doctrine and shit. But the thing is, the motherfucker even just say like, like you you change the exposure or some shit on the fucking on on the on the, on the image and shit like image, that. It starts yeah. changing. My nigga, you're telling me that a Photoshop something that you think is photoshopped, you photoshopped and found something wrong with it. <laughs> Houseway, <laughs> you telling me something that you think is photoshopped. You go ahead and Photoshop it so yourself some more to change the exposure to make it look how the fuck you want it to look. <laughs> come on, fam. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, come on. That's all I'm saying, bro. Am I wrong? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> like, come on. I, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to understand like why people think like that. Cause like. I gotta understand, like, people not trusting the government and shit because the government lies. That they do. The government does lie about a whole bunch of shit. Oh, yeah, but definitely. you have, uh, but the thing is, like, <laughs> you have not only eyewitnesses of people is that. Is there a video or something like that? Of, yes. Of somebody, like, going around the whole earth and out of space or something like that? Yeah, there's a ton of, there's a ton of videos and shit from NASA. I don't visit NASA.gov. I was gonna ask you. Ask me. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like photos and shit of like oh, that's that, like that was video. one of like it's like a whole video of somebody in space and just orbiting the earth I guess what it is. I don't know that's also what I don't get either my nigga like we have actual videos of people like in astronaut. space yeah looking down on earth yeah I know we got videos of that I know I know for a fact there's a video of people in space looking down on the earth whatever the case is and we can see actually how the earth looks yeah. boom got that. I'm just asking, is it a video of somebody probably orbiting the Earth? That's all I'm asking. I don't, because I don't know. Not unless they don't want to know. It's like, uh, I'm pretty sure it took a long time or some shit. shit like that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's it. So, yeah, I don't know. But I know for sure it's video of astronauts in space looking down on Earth, and this is how Earth looks, even though they say that it's Photoshopped and the blue marble, if the case is, and they just made it look how the fuck they want to look. Whatever, fine. Whatever floats your boat gets you to sleep at night. But, my nigga, we got actual video of this. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I just don't. I don't understand. I don't. I, mm-hmm. Like, I, like <laughs> you had me with, like, you know, the government may be lying and shit. Like, yeah. that, that's true. That's possible. Yeah. But you lost me with the old, like, if there's <laughs> undeniable evidence that that something exists, then it exists that way. So Well, Malcolm, <laughs> that's the problem right there. <laughs> I'm what you call a globe denier. Um, a globe denier. You we could even get me into a virtual anything. construct if I can't find the or- the borders myself. It appears to me to be a stationary plane, as opposed to the vastness of infinity of space. I would find it to be an ice plane where we have a localized sun and our environment thrives there. You know, these these particular people. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. Did you say we have a localized sun? Yes. So a localized sun means it stays in one. Uh, let me let me Google. Hold on. I got to Google. Got to do my Googles. I got to do my Googles. Hold on. The uh, Googles of localized sun? No, no, no. I just want to know the exact definition of localized. Because in my head, I think localized is... We're stuck I, in one position. I st- I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm right here in the hood. I'm, I'm right where I'm at right now. So I'm localized. So I don't move. So that means it should be sunny all the time, right? Sure. Right, I'm just checking before I check what the fuck localized means. That's making sure I ain't the crazy motherfucker in the room. <laughs> that means it's stationary. So <laughs> localized. Restrict something to a particular place. So that means it's stuck. And that's supposed to that particular spot. Then that's what it sounds like to me. You know, it has a limit. Restrict, contain, confine, restrain, constrain, circumscribe, concentrate, dim, del- delimit, 
uh, and isolate. Those are all the synonyms, by the way. I'm gonna let this nigga continue though. Cause this should be sunny all the time. It should be sunny in Philadelphia all the fucking time, right? All right, cool. That's all I'm asking. Uh, starting here in 321. Misled us on television. That's all I'm asking. This is a brilliant opportunity. Some shit just don't make sense. We've been suppressed, censored by mainstream media. Alternative media is it's just a thing of beauty for me. <laughs> Alternative media is YouTube, though, right? I'm running. He said, be the other side. It's not uneducated. <laughs> I'm running for this. Well, they they certainly think they're educated, and they're following um, quite a bit of you know the university system, what we call scientism. Right, scientism. Obviously, is the belief in what's um, what's written, where we tend to be exploring um, in the field with the physical properties, <laughs> not theories. <laughs> we're using actual measurements. That are calculated not by our guidelines, but the guidelines of science as we know it. I can only hope they're uneducated as opposed to disingenuous. Well, that's the other thing, too, because we know that, at least on a large scale, the government has been disingenuous and they're, they're, they're <coughs> pushing a narrative, right? So it's, it's hard for us. I mean, I'm sure that you've met people, too. It's like, look, are you just, you haven't looked into it yet, or are you a shill? Are you, are you part of a disinformation campaign? I don't think you guys are uneducated. I think you're wrongly educated. I think the problem with... Which means... Your ass ain't educated. Instead of looking at evidence and letting the evidence guide to where the ultimate conclusion is, they start with a conclusion and then they try to cherry pick evidence to support their pre-drawn conclusion. They cast mm. away all the bits of evidence Bars. that actually is contrary to their beliefs. I, I think that you're very well educated as well as you are, are Jim. But Certainly Ali is. He's and, probably and got the best education he, of yeah, all of he, us. <laughs> exactly, and he paid for it too. Um, but more and more uh, professionals are coming on board. They're starting to question their reality. So the thing of it is, is once you start to really look, take a hard look at the evidence, and you are, are unafraid of just standing for the truth wherever that may lead you, uh, then um, you, people end up becoming flat earthers. I don't know. They just got names for everything. They got. They, I've never seen a Jubilee video where they got to put so many definitions at the bottom of the motherfucking screen. <laughs> they just name and shit, uh, like a fucking shill and all this other type of shit. I think I don't even understand because. I didn't say my point anyway, because the motherfucker said we are literally just flat in an enclosed place, enclosed uh, space, and the sun and all all the weather and everything that goes on in the fucking world, whatever the case is, in this whole entire world is localized. So that means it's always raining somewhere, and I'm not talking about Seattle, but it's always raining somewhere all the time. Check this out. And the sun is somewhere beaming, and it never... <laughs> goes nighttime all the time. So my only question is, which side of the flat earth is this shit happening on? <laughs> that's a whole, that's I'm a curious. Whole too. Like, <laughs> is there an other side or is it just it's just flat like a map? <laughs> is it like is it like toast? Like where is something on one side and something on the other side? Or is it just I just guess, the map? I guess God flips us over when we're done and it's nighttime. <laughs> he said, up. Oh. <laughs> I think Earth is done. Let me right, flip it over to the other side. <laughs> this <laughs> side is done. Let me flip it over it to the other side. Like, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? Like, this shit don't even make no sense. Whatever, my nigga. Uh, I, don't, I ain't got shit to say about this shit no more. <laughs> clearly, I'm not a scientist, but. I don't gotta be a scientist. I'm, I'm uh, like that, that motherfucker said. Yeah, you're educated. <laughs> you're just barely educated. <laughs> <laughs> Same fucking boat. I'm barely educated. I don't know shit, but I know common sense though when I see but, it. But check this out. Okay, so we know from how many ever billions of years ago that the earth was like formed in Pangaea. Basically, everything was connected. Africa, mm -hmm. uh, and everything started yeah, breaking everything, apart. Everything. Yeah, and then everything started breaking apart. Mm -hmm. So, time, with yeah. their whole theory of it being like, see flat, right? 
You trying to see why so, you can't see Africa from the crib? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That's what you're trying to figure out. <laughs> they pull up my telescope, see how I'm wild is doing. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're trying to figure out. Yeah, <laughs> Let me see how, how my how my cousin the Tumbe is going on the other side. Get out the microphone. Eat my man. Eat my man. Get her on the side. <laughs> no, it's oh, just like. I'm trying to figure out why it's so hard to get back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it's, right, it's right across the river. <laughs> That's what you're trying to figure out. It's right, it's right across, it was right across uh, Lake Michigan and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I go all day, nigga. Yeah. I could literally, too, man. Uh, it's just, it's just, uh, like, like I want to know, like I, I truly want to know, like what, like they thought, because like if they believe it's flat like that, so that means how, how is everything? Man. Like, it should be a telescope. It should be more than just one telescope. Like at the, at the big, uh, at those big like amusement sites, whatever the case is. Cause I like, I guess like New York and them, they got them like go to the highest building, look at a telescope, whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. You can look out a. a Whole city, you probably got some in Chicago too. I don't fucking know, yeah, but you could, but you, could, but you could look out. Oh, well, for the case is, why the fuck can't I see Damn. kangaroos jumping in Australia and shit like that, my nigga? <laughs> like, I should be able to see that, right? <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. Oh, the words Sarah say Sarah Palin. I can see Russia from here. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh no, she said, what did she say, Alaska or some yeah, shit? Like she that. said some dumb shit, like she can see, uh... <laughs> That's all I'm asking, because that don't make no fucking sense, Like, Like, there should literally be, like, if the world is so fucking flat, then this might be my investment. I might get some money off this. I ain't gonna let, I ain't gonna let this out. Nope, I ain't gonna let this out. I ain't gonna let this out. Because you wanna know why? It's gonna make me some money from these flat earth dumbasses. I'm gonna build the strongest telescope. <laughs> the strongest and the furthest I'm, I'm telescope. Pretty, I'm, I'm pretty and sure NASA already beat you to <laughs> it. <laughs> well, they don't believe NASA, so I can I can win. I can I can put my bid in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking cane in the top hat. Come on over, flat earthers. <laughs> I'm gonna be spinning my cane and shit. And then my hat. <laughs> Come look through the strongest telescope. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it should that like that should be a fucking main attraction somewhere or some shit like that. Like the strongest fucking telescope in the fucking world, I think it is, and you can just look like straight, and you can see whatever the fuck you think you finna see as a flat earther. I think it is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's my idea. Don't nobody steal it. <laughs> Don't steal my hat and cane either. I got a trick. Uh, start to get a TV one. I'm hoping to be able to tell our side of the story from the inside out. So many times, flat earthers are depicted from the outside in, and I want to be able to share with others empirical data that proves the earth is not what we've been told. Where's the data you speak of? I still ain't seen no damn data. So when I was 12 years old, I went to space camp. And I met Alan B. Shepard. Oh, nice. Yep, yep. And I wanted to be an astronaut, and I wanted to be the first woman to walk the moon. Oh. So, um, for me, I'm a glober. I went into this completely wanting it to be true. Boss, I know her problem is. She's bitter. <laughs> oh, she, she mad she ain't making this space. Yeah. yeah. She, 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 she wasn't the first the woman. <laughs> she wasn't the first woman. That's her problem. That's why she switched sides. <laughs> Typical woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to get it too <laughs> My husband I her problem is. told me you know, he saw this thing about the fake moon landing. And I was like, you're absolutely crazy. There's no way that the moon landings are fake. And then in 2010, my husband was killed. And so I never really developed that until around um, 2014 when Flat Earth kind of came back up. And that, li- Sorry. and that little voice inside my head said, remember the fake moon landings? Remember when that was brought to my attention? And then I started really critically analyzing that. And I would say, you know, just and looking at that evidence, they can lie about the moon landings. They can certainly <laughs> lie about for. pictures yeah. and satellites and other things. And so I started going down that rabbit hole of, of studying. So that was my influence for How my husband. How many lies does it take to make a liar, right? And, and being ridiculed for being inquisitive, um, is, is pretty tough on us. I wouldn't say that I've changed my mind because my mind isn't set. NASA is, is, is solely designed to change my mind. 
it is from its inception, from its discovery, has been a television program, it's been a space program to sell us on something that they've yet to actually show us. Show me a globe spinning with clouds and a moon. Show me home, and I think I could shut up quite I mean, easily. I think I could shut up. Yeah, the timing takes, of the conversions know. is interesting. To me. <clears throat> 20 years ago, the flat Earth world was tiny and insignificant. Uh, enter the advent of the internet, YouTube, online discussion groups, all these new available places where you could find information about everything. This is true that the evidence as you looked were not a robust evidence. And the sources you used, they were not reliable sources again. But my problem is that, and I, I, I like you guys that you are very <laughs> skeptical, but at the same time, you are not a skeptical about your belief system. You that should have come back, first. You, you, you think that that's my foundation for why I believe the Earth is flat. And I'm telling you, you're wrong. Well, okay. I have evidence that proves it's flat. What type of evidence? Where is it? What type of evidence? We're being misled. Where We're is being it? deliberately misled by mainstream no, media. What's your evidence? Your we see too far. <laughs> hey, what's the we evidence? We see too far. We should not be able to see. I live in Dana Point. Okay. I can see San Clemente Island, which is 60 miles away. So what? Wow. What do you mean, so what? Oh, I'm it's on the beach. Feet I'm on the beach. It is what do you tall. mean by so what? I'm on but, the beach. Yeah, but yeah. Can you see a ship which is going? What oh, are we yeah, let's about talk that? about the ship that goes yes. over the curvature okay. of the Earth. I love so. that. So, <laughs> science has said that when I see a ship go out of my field of view, it's going over the curvature of the Earth, correct? Yes. But then I bring my P900 up, and guess what? I can zoom it back in. Not so is it going time. over the curvature of the no, Earth or not? Absolutely. Oh, not all the time? No, not all the time? No, you don't see all the ship. The bottom part of the ship yes. is hidden by the At curvature. At that distance, yeah. you shouldn't see the top At of it all. either. If the Earth were truly flat, there would be really hardly <laughs> any big light. Action. You'd be able to stand at the top of the <laughs> Empire State Building and look towards Chicago, a mere thousand miles away, and see the lights of Chicago. <laughs> oh, well, you? because you have an atmosphere of disturbance. Give me my, give me my motherfucking <laughs> smoke, nigga. I know what I'm talking about out here. I don't need to be no scientist, my nigga. I know what I'm talking about out here, cuz. Come on, man. Oh, uh, we, we, just, we just literally just said that. Somebody give me a scientist coat. Somebody give me a coat. Where's my goddamn degree at? <laughs> I don't need that shit, I know it, bro. I'm sick coon in this bitch. God damn, man. I see this shit coming, nigga. I use all my shining guns around this bitch. God damn it. Come on, man. Damn. Oh, man. I just said that. <laughs> Come on, man. And he set he set he set the Ollie Hoop up early. He set it up. All right, all right. He set it up. He said that the fucking sun is basically stationary. So if the fucking sun that's why I was like, how does this shit work for flat earth? Is it is it just one side or is it on the other side? Like <laughs> it just don't make no sense, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that man. I feel good. Nigga. I'm a scientist today, nigga. I'm a scientist today. <laughs> like that should Fuck mean it. we are fucking metropolis all day, son. Like, <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on, man. Damn. I feel good today, nigga. I'm gonna walk the stage or something. <laughs> I'm gonna walk across the stage today. <laughs> oh man. Damn. Try to get it three, two, one, man. Thick. I, I've been Water into alone. astronomy since I was ten. Faulty logic. It's completely faulty logic. Okay. One of the big I things I do shit. is investigate extraordinary claims like flat eartherism or ESP or all sorts of different things. The Earth <laughs> is. If you just add ism to the back of anything, you could be it. I guess. Huh? <laughs> That's something new to me. Flat, the flat earth ism. Yeah. It's like they just added isms to like, we a podcast ism. ism. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to see. Like, I've been hearing that. They've been saying that shit a lot on this uh, episode. Uh, it's undoubtedly it's be an ism. a globe and not flat. This is well supported by gobs of science.
What is the question? I don't understand the question. Scientific consensus is possible. Possible? Anything is possible. I mean, anything is possible. I, I've, got a, I've got a tremendous issue with consensus and peer review. I've been spending a lot of time arguing the other with oh, people that argue the other side. <laughs> and I found it surprisingly, consensus always wins. It, it was shocking to me that the group with the majority has an incredible advantage. As scientists, flat earthers, truthers, punks, we're an incredible disadvantage. Let's talk about scientific consensus for a second. You're never going to get 100% of anyone. There is scientific consensus on a global earth. There's scientific consensus on evolution. A lot of big <coughs> issues. Use the word theory. No. Do you know what a, a just, theory in science is? An extremely and a, fa and a fact. Let me a fact. A fact. Don't mistake this word theory. You are in I science. Agree. It's not conjecture. It's uh, not uh, an explanation. Theory is it, it, by definition. Well, so consensus is just everybody that agrees with everything. Or uh, or just a group of people that agree. Some shit like that. They're using words, some all this words, some. sentences and shit. I'm, I'm getting <laughs> overloaded right now, bro. I'm glad this is the last video. <laughs> they, they using a lot of words. I can't even think of like regular ass words. But consensus is just pretty much everybody that agrees with what the case is. Everybody's on the same yes. page or whatever. Yeah, but mo mostly. You know, everybody's okay. like on the same. Okay, they, it's too much, too many words. It's another fucking thing at the bottom of the fucking Scientific reading. theory. I know what scientific theory is, by the way. Yeah. It's not, it's an well, explanation. It's a <laughs> well, let's talk so about this is a fact. Show me a fact. Made a mistake. Why aren't all theory facts theories? In science, the word theory is the highest level that you can give something because it's so well supported. What about a fact? So theory is a thought. It is a fact. It's, it's well, a theory is a thought. Well, well, not a fact you would call it you a know fact. Why? Do you know why? Because in science, there's always room for improvement. There's always room to find well, better, true. to mm -hmm. tweak and find better information. So that is how science works. It gets better, refined over time, as opposed to flat earth theory, which never gets refined. It simply is what it is. New and ideas <laughs> have limited access to media and limited <laughs> exposure. So right? we're in a university curriculums, we will continue to appear uneducated. Well, that's not true. In the history of science, we had many occasions that it, the idea is, it was not welcomed by the society. Einstein was one of them. Galileo. Galileo was one of them. But if your theory mm -hmm. is an authentic one, and it can be go through this hardship of scientific method, eventually will win. I used to believe that science was after the truth, right? They just, we all just want to know what the truth is. Science has been trying so hard to divorce itself from the idea of a creator when God's intent was to create science to lead you to him. You know, sometimes things seem supernatural uh, that we are able to explain later through, you know, science. Okay, I understand. But there are other things as well that are supernatural, that go beyond the natural, <coughs> that we can only s explain uh, through believing in a creator, right? This is my big issue with We're science, about uh, shit, scientific man. approach <laughs> and non-scientific <laughs> approach. You are absolutely right. In science, we are after the truth. And we are hoping by each day we're getting closer and closer to the truth. We never get there. Never. Well, I, that's, I know that's true for you. And I, no, no, I, that's I, a science. That's, that's you guys. You think you do have the truth. Now let's look at the evidences. As you were mentioning, you do have the conclusion. Let's find the evidences. Science doesn't work that that's way. Not well, that's not true. That is not well, true. you are Matter saying fact, you, no. you are you referring to Jesus who many billions of people do not believe, including myself. And many more billions do. So what? So, so who's right? Of course I can. Right. So the th when you say that we start with a conclusion and then try to match everything to make it work, like that to me is a dishonesty. That is not true at all. <coughs> that is what you are doing no, right now. No, you're not. You're making that assumption. <coughs> no. Which I think science assumption. does a lot of. Well, so do you I, make I, assumptions? He just did it. it. Does science make know. assumptions? Does science no. make assumptions? Yeah, we, of course. Sure. Okay. Of course. We do but, make assumptions but, based on things that are well supported and bias. proven. But y'all just said y'all had all the facts. Don't have show to. me how you <laughs> isolate gravity. If gravity we is don't an have assumption, to. show me in the scientific method how you isolate gravity. We've done that actually. Let's cool off. Yeah, sure. Fucking Jubilee. Bitches! <laughs> <laughs> it was getting heated. Let it's them people good. talk! <laughs> Let them figure shit out. Oh, oh, man. She
wants to understand gravity, though. He's about to break it down, too. He's like, I got you. <laughs> Fucking Jubilee. <laughs> God damn, man. Let him fight! <laughs> God damn it. Stop him when the blows start getting thrown. God damn it. <laughs> People talk. Fuck. Start again in 3 2 one. I kind of feel like I want to develop some of this stuff a little bit more. It feels high level, but I feel like there's so much that I haven't really even touched base on. Well, I mean, I, I certainly didn't think that anybody was gonna, on either side was going to flip. Well, I, there's still time. There is still time. I, I have hope for you, Wendell. Oh. And Shelly. I don't know about Dan. I have hope for you, too. Okay. But, um, you know, it, it's certainly, I'm glad it's a civil discussion, certainly. Oh, yeah. Let him explain to her how gravity works. Wendell, welcome aboard. Welcome. The greatest moment in television history right there. Sit your ass down. All y'all information so be coming from I, NASA, I, right? Any organization they keep bringing up fucking NASA. And they, uh, they only may trust have some individuals stuff. that uh, lie or deceive or something, but as a general organization, um, they're looking but for just the like truth. he was saying, yeah, they fucking the cherry pick. They, they come NASA to their conclusion with the case, and they cherry pick what the fuck they want to believe or not. About the shape of the Earth is the height of conspiracy theories. In order. For this to be true, the literally hundreds of thousands of people who at some point over the last 50 or 60, 60 years would have to, <laughs> have to be there. somewhat complicit in this, and nobody spills the beans at all, is on the face of it completely unbelievable. The private does not know what the general is doing. There's compartmentalization happening all the time. Of course. So it wouldn't be that far-fetched. Has the government ever lied to us is really the question at stake. We all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank but now we, have, now, now we, now we have uh, <coughs> NASA.gov, right? And we, oh, absolutely, they're not lying about anything. They're completely transparent. Everything is true. We'd be no, foolish no, no. to There's think that's true. There's a difference here. Uh, I'm sorry. The, 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 this is a fallacy here. There's not a difference. Not a fallacy. Uh, oh, I'm sure it is. Go See, ahead. You were talking about a government. Now yes. you're talking about an agency NASA. of the government. Gov. But this agency is scrutinized by thousands and thousands of scientists around the globe. You are dealing with smart people, believe me. You are dealing with deny, smart people. I don't deny that. So it is very hard to do that. Once or twice, maybe. Not for the whole time. Raise your hand if you think we went to the moon. What is the proof? hundreds and hundreds of pounds of moon rocks and dust. And we have distributed those freely to PhD scientists around the world. And not one of those geologists have said, what is this? Been is proven this to something? be fake. And, and also yes. not, and collected no. on the ice in no, Antarctica and yeah, in absolutely. the Arctic as well. There's those are collected, that you don't no. have to go to the moon to get moon rocks. As a matter of fact, all US Air Force photography prior to 1958 shows a flat Earth, only NASA, Shows That's us not true. That's that not is true. absolutely not true, true, Jim. I wouldn't and, lie to you. And, and the other, the, the other, the other <laughs> NASA's of, lying to you, the, my friend. The other bit of proof not myself. Is we have a laser retro reflector on the moon yeah. that we're using so now. Do we still use to this day. You, it's you sitting can, there. You can find to the inch how far away the moon no is. No pictures of home. That only is there. By, by no, the way, there are not. My question to you is, why, why would all these honest, hard-working <clears> people? perpetuate this massive fraud. Why would they do this? What's the benefit of it? Okay, the benefit of it. They make $52 million a day. Follow the money. No, the little Follow guy. Follow the money. The little guy. That's what, then when you say mm -hmm. all, okay. The little guy. And NASA was not founded to prove that Earth was a globe. It had nothing to do with the way they were founded. Well, if you go and study Are you the sure? Yeah, positive. Really? Yes. Yeah, so NASA was not voice for <laughs> pause. NASA was not <laughs> to prove if the Earth was actually a globe or not. Like, whatever. It was to 
Send yeah, someone into space. space. <laughs> <laughs> Exploration. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These motherfuckers don't <laughs> about no facts. I, I, I have yet to hear anything. Like, every time they she just said, kind of present she something, just said, then they The only thing she said is, I can send, I could see an island, and then I can see a ship, but then uh, the ship disappears. But then if I pull out my telescope, I can see the ship again. I'm pretty sure you can. You just pulled out a fucking telescope. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a lot of shit if I pull out, a, pull out a fucking telescope. That's all I'm saying, bro. They ain't spoken no facts over yet. I want to see statistics. They bringing stuff. in supernatural ghosts and shit like that. Like, they're just bringing <laughs> in shit that ain't got shit to do with shit. They're just saying shit. <laughs> and it's like, now the moon landing is fake. Now the reflectors that's on the moon right now to this day. It's a fucking, this is, is fucking uh, the robot, moon, the basically. Moon rock, the moon <laughs> rocks are fake. Yeah, we know we can get a moon rock from the fucking, from the fucking moon when there's a fucking meteor shower. <laughs> no shit. It's something coming from fucking space. <laughs> He's like, you could just get that damn octica. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> It's called a meteor shower. Shit drops from the fucking sky. <laughs> My thing is, what sky, right? Because it's a bubble, right? <laughs> so it's just cloud, sun. There's a shield. Yeah, it's a shield, right? We're basically living on the lens, the right. lens cap. <laughs> fucking, uh, what's one of the contact lens? That's what contact the fuck lens, That's what we yeah. on right now? What the fuck? Stupid as shit. Uh, starting in a three, two, one. Reason, and somebody has to be a voice for truth. It's. I, it would be a fantasy to believe that I would change anybody's mind from the other three. However, if there's somebody sitting on the fence, and this is the first introduction to this debate, perhaps they'll hear the reasonable voice and say, yeah, "That makes more sense than having this pizza-shaped earth." I will put myself. <laughs> more shots. <laughs> I used to be a ball earther. Everything <clears throat> you say right now is completely what earther. I used to agree to. So I completely understand where you're coming from. For me, I think the, the correct way to do any kind of investigation or to examine things is by literally putting yourself in that mindset of the other person. So I do do that. I, don't, I disagree with your position, but I completely understand from your perspective <laughs> where, what you're saying. I had to put myself in your shoes, but still was wrong. <laughs> the trouble I have understanding your perspective is in the modern world, unless you live in a cave somewhere, you have to believe in science implicitly. I've, I met a flat earther, a young woman who said, I don't trust anything that science does. And that's a problem because human beings can't replicate the whole body of science every single generation. At some point, you have to trust what's already been discovered and proven and move on to the next thing. Otherwise, we're not going to advance at all. I mean, when you turn that key ignition in your car, you expect the car to start out. And not blow up. And not blow up, because science puts you in that position. So it's really hard to understand how people would know in their hearts that science achieves wonderful things and then just jumping ship when it comes to this other issue. We're not drawing conclusions. We understand the mechanisms that made that car work. There is no theories and no, no disputed conclusions involved there. It's not a good analogy. Can I admit a great compromise that we have to experience being against That's the grain? That's an analogy. What the fuck are you talking about? We have to literally sit in a group and decide whether or not we can afford to have an opinion. And that's, that's tough. I actually, I, I, I agree with you there because we're the same thing. I mean, I, I think skeptics go through this and atheists go through this. I don't believe in God. When I'm around religious people, I take a chance socially when I tell them I'm an atheist. So I know it, it takes some courage to follow your beliefs and I appreciate that. But I think I've done a lot of research in that venue too and it's not something I choose to believe in it's something I have to believe in based on the evidence see what I get from you guys is that uh, seeing is believing <coughs> so how come you believe in God or Jesus you haven't seen 
neither of them, right? I've seen evidence, so. Well, exactly, so we are looking for evidence. There are many, many other evidences for Earth not being flat. My point is that these, are, these experiments clearly show that the Earth is globe. And you don't need to go outside it's the globe conclusion. to see it's globe. It's a, it's a theoretical You told me you want the evidence. If you're That's saying not. that you look only to see something, then I dispute your belief system in God and Jesus or uh, Yehovah or Buddha or Zarathustra or anyone. Keep going back to religion as because being it's our coming from there. No, you tell no, you do no, have, no, the I have evidence. Do. She just, I have evidence. You quoted at the know. beginning she of this. Out physics. You quoted Bible. Of That's the reason. Shut up and let her say her evidence. The only reason I know what the I'm waiting. Is you, well, that's a fallacy. It's not fallacy. It Actually, fallacy. it is not fallacy. It is a fallacy. She you. I'm a theoretical physicist. Uh, what I'm doing is the combination of string I mean, theory and cosmology. She keeps saying that she got evidence and she don't got no fine. She's saying she keeps stopping. The Big Bang, 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 bang after the Big Bang or even before the Big Bang. What are you hoping to get from the discussion today? Well, I hope I would be able, particularly to the young generation, to convince them that first they should think critically and don't believe anything. They shouldn't take anything for granted. <coughs> Look at the evidences and examine those evidences. And throw away uh, those uh, claims that are not evidence-based. Um, science, not to put it down, it but when dumb. you're talking about rocket science, this is very difficult for the majority of people to understand, and it's designed that way. And so, in a lot of ways, hiding behind rocket science is similar to religion. If you look at the Catholic Church back in the days, only we can interpret the Bible, you have to listen to what we say. So in a lot of ways, we're getting that same notion from science that says, only we can interpret what these numbers are, you just need to trust us. But then when we actually do go and test some of their equations and they don't work, does that beg the question for us to go and test it for ourselves? Absolutely. I would say, you know, one great thing about science is its predictability. Let's for some moment, for a short moment, assume that your model, this flat earth model is correct. I don't know what does it buy for us? What, the, what does it predict for us? Uh, so my question for you guys uh, would be next time, uh, bring me something from your theory, your model, that you can predict something which the globe earth uh, model cannot predict. Then. I would change my mind. I would just say that don't believe anything that I've said. You gotta do your own research. And I think what you'll find is that you'll see that a puzzle piece doesn't fit. And the only way you're gonna do that is if you put your own eyeballs on it. I don't blame people for being skeptical. I'm skeptical about a lot of different things. I applaud that instinct in you. But you have to go beyond just not believing in something ask the hard questions. Ask what qualifies a YouTuber, a book author, anywhere else you're getting this information. What qualifies them to make wide-ranging comments about the shape of the Earth? Look, anybody who can overturn Einstein or some major theory is gonna be eventually written in the halls of science for the rest of their lives. But they have to come up with the goods. They have to show uh, good science-based evidence that what they say <clears throat> is true, and they have to withstand the test of time and peer review and the rigors of the scientific method. All right. Thank, you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Ollie, it was nice to meet you. I'll get a hug, too. Almost neighbor. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Hey, I want to get you a copy of my novel. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, hey, good job to you. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Middle Ground. That's right. We know that one of the biggest... Okay, which I knew was about to say. Uh, <laughs> did anybody convince you of anything else, Malcolm? Not really. I, I still haven't heard any facts. No, I didn't hear any. <clears throat> Other than the thing that they, she trying to make with the whole seeing the boat shit. And it sounded like it got debunked. But then, like, they still kind of... She cut still got in yeah, denial and then cut it off. So, no. I believe the sun is localized, Malcolm. 
I'm gonna drop this book next week for all the flat earthers. <laughs> Go buy my shit. <laughs> it's gonna be the hottest shit in the streets. I, I just want like real evidence. Like, uh, shit, if I'm wrong, no, then I'm wrong. They can't give you something they ain't even got. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like he said, yeah, that's should, just the fact. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you should be able to see. What do you say? You should be able to see uh, from Chicago, from uh, from uh, the uh, whatever the fuck thing is that fucking uh, State Building. Yeah, Empire State Building. Yeah. <laughs> Same way I feel, shit. But you know, it is what it is. I guess. Yeah. What the fuck do we know? We were only scientists for the last. Two hours, <laughs> the last hour or whatever. The fuck do we know, right? Oh yeah. Not a damn thing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you are notified for every video that we drop. We are here every single day, every single week, dropping videos. Dread Dad's podcast. Yep. yep. Follow us on all our social media, media networks media. except for Twitter. Two dads. Two dads. Dread. Dreads. And once again. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell. Yeah. I know it's a lot. I got to do it, too. Just do it. <laughs> As YouTube is all like, I got to do the same thing. Do it. And I think, I think it's something else, too. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Who, who knows? That's YouTube. That's YouTube, YouTube to cut the shit down. <laughs> it's too much. It's YouTube. It's exhausting. But, yeah, make sure to follow all those social media networks, Dread Dance Podcast, and for Twitter, Two Dance with Dress. And once again... Just for the third time, because it's three things you have to do <laughs> to keep bell. up with us. The bell, <laughs> the like button, and that subscribe button. We got this bitch right there's podcast. <laughs>